In New Brunswick, for example, this warning from the province's top doctor. Our neighbors' houses are on fire and the hot embers are flying onto our roof. If we don't take necessary actions to keep this fire at bay, it will engulf us as well. Dr. Jennifer Russell says New Brunswick is at a, quote, critical stage in this pandemic. There are 246 active cases in the province, with another 23 new cases being reported. Today, we've reached Premier Blaine Higgs. He's in Fredericton right now. Hi, Premier. Good to see you. Thank you for your time. Good afternoon, Nancy. We've been focused on some other provinces that have very high numbers right now. And when speaking to people who are analyzing the data, the number one thing they say to us is that it's because of contacts, too many contacts essentially especially over the last month or, or two months is that what what it's at the heart of this rise in cases in in new brunswick is it people maintaining too many contacts absolutely Vashi, it is we we um, early before christmas and you know we were laying out uh, we we're in yellow zone we had a little breakout early in the in december and that got under control going into orange in different regions and then we we were concerned we put a, you know a lot of warnings out about let's we're able to stay in yellow but we limit our contacts and have it a very close contacts that were were familiar and not not uh, repeating in, in different ways but the the idea was that we were concerned about christmas and new year's and and i guess our fears of that concern have become a reality and just to make it clear for viewers outside of New Brunswick, is the order of the kind of re yellow, orange, and then red? And, and right now you're in orange, is that correct? Right now we're in orange and throughout the pandemic, we you know we're in red way back at the beginning and not since. We've been in orange in different zones of the province um, through in the last number of months and particularly in the second wave, but we've recovered in each zone. Um, and now we're in zone orange across the entire province because what we're seeing are these these cases are kind of appearing uh, all around, the exception of one, one particular zone. And so what will trigger moving into the red zone and how close are you to, to making that happen? Well, right now our numbers have been consistent and in around, you know, 20, 25 um, uh, a day, maybe a little higher, a little lower. Um, but but this is the highest count we've had since the beginning at, mm -hmm. at the 246. So for us, it's it's significant. But it, our, our point right now is we've always been able to recover um, in in their zone orange. We've been able to recover. We are still able to contact trace where these um, cases are coming from. But the concern is they continue. After two weeks now that we've been away from the, the holiday season, they're still continuing. That just means that there's a certain amount of the population that are continuing to not follow the rules and are continuing to have contacts where they shouldn't be. And that is the concern. And that's why the ramp up today and that's why the enforcement is going to ramp up and we're going to become a whole lot more serious about people that are not following the rules. If, you keep, if that enforcement, as is the case in other jurisdictions, doesn't you know, grab the, the, the curve and, and bend it in the right direction. Are you prepared uh, to, to move into stricter controls, though? Yes, indeed. We, we are. We will. Uh, the, the, right now, we feel that we can get this because we're still able to contact trace. We haven't lost that yet, um, that ability. But as the, the numbers increase, that becomes more and more difficult, as we've seen from certainly my colleagues throughout the rest of the, the country. So right now, we will go and do whatever is necessary to, to bring this under control. And enforcement is ramping up, tickets are ramping up, um, and we need people to listen. This is so close for us. We've done so well, and the vaccines are so near. Um, we haven't, we've got about 12,000 in the province at this point, but hearing news about more all the time, as, as your first story indicated. So let's not lose it now, but we will take whatever steps are necessary to get this back in check. On the subject of vaccines, the last time we spoke, Premier, uh, you were holding back the second dose uh, of the vaccine because of concern over supply. A few days ago, we spoke to the head of the advisory committee on, on, on vaccines to the federal government. She's come out now, they have come out now with a, a new recommendation that you can wait six weeks to deliver that second dose. Has that changed your approach then, your policy? Will you expend those doses yep. quickly? We are looking at that, yes, indeed. At, at this point, we still have uh, are on track with the, the original plan about three, maybe four weeks. But, but yes, we will once we have that confirmation of, of certainly uh, the timelines that we can we can spread out between doses, but also the confirmation of supply that we can be assured of what doses are coming and when. And when we have those factors in place, we will be able to extend the, the range, and, and we will do that, I'm sure. Public health, uh, we spoke about that this morning, and they are working across the country on, on having calming 
uh, rules around that. So we, we will get there as well, I'm sure. Do you expect those though that to come in, in the next few days? And, and as far as certainty over supply goes, my understanding is the feds have detailed what's coming to each province until the end of February. Are you looking for certainty beyond that right now? Well, we, we are at this point weighing out whether we would go further. So in our meeting today, we did not change the rules around uh, the timing between doses. We want to make sure that the that people that are treated, we are double dosing now. We're, we're already at that stage. We're able to start the second doses and, uh, and we're doing that. But we didn't extend the time period at this point. But I do see that coming in the coming weeks and probably likely in the, in the new month. Okay, I'll leave it there, Premier. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it as always. You're very welcome. Have a good evening. You too. New Brunswick's Premier Blaine Higgs. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.